Welcome to the Real Estate Insider Weekly. I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here in Folsom, California. Recently, I've had more investment loans than usual. The market's heating up. So I thought I'd touch on this subject. A lot of people ask if it's tough to get a first-time investment loan so that they can buy a rental. The answer is that it's really not too much tougher than any other loan. However, there's some things that you really should know before you start. Number one, down payment. Plan on putting 20% down at least. If you got a multifamily unit, at least 25%. Number two, rental income can be used even if you don't have a two-year landlord experience. Number three, investors are not allowed to use gift funds. They have to come from your own account source for the last two months. Please see our video on sourcing of funds. Number four, credit score. You need at least a 620 FICO score. 720 is going to give you better pricing. Number five, reserves. Very important. First-time investors, reserves can come in as a big shock when determining how much is needed to purchase your house. You'll need at least six months on the subject property. It means money in the bank so that you can cover it for the next six months. Take a look at our other video on what are reserves, and we'll talk about that more. Number six, plan for a little bit more expensive appraisal. When buying an investment property, you need what's called a 1007, a rent survey, to show what comparable rents are going to be. Number seven, a lot of people think that they're going to get a better deal with properties that need more work, but the appraiser is going to come in. If they call out work, that work needs to be done prior to funding the loan. So while it may be a little more challenging to get a loan as an investor, the rewards are often really great. Planning is extremely important for an investor, especially when you have other financial responsibilities. So any other questions that you've got, just reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Hi, this is Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here in Folsom, California, and I'm here with Hector Alvarez. Great having you here. Thank you for having me. Hector has a company, Alvarez & Associates, and they're focused on helping uh, workplace prevention and doing consulting in that area. First of all, what is workplace violence? So, so workplace violence is very broad, uh, and it does cross every industry. What it, what it really is is any type of assaultive behavior, threats, intimidation, even all the way down to some people are now including bullying hmm. into the idea of workplace violence. So workplace, uh, right, so bullying, that's something we don't think a lot about, but it really has a big impact, doesn't it? It, it does, and it's interesting. We work with all types of companies and organizations, so everything from ele elementary schools to corporate offices. And bullying comes up in both those environments. Hmm. And interestingly, the, uh, the behavior is unbelievably similar between a kindergartner and sometimes what you're seeing in the corporate environment. So what, what, what can you do to help them? You know, well, and that's the million dollar question. You know, bullying is on a lot of people's minds. We're trying to find a solution. And there's a lot of emphasis on identifying bullying behavior, the things that bullies do. And I think a lot of people understand what it is. What we're trying to figure out is give people options when they're being bullied. Hmm. Um, you know, we, we were talking a little bit about the real estate industry, and one of the challenges you have with people who are bullies, sometimes they're their top performers. Right. Sometimes they're the dynamic personality. Uh, but other times they're just people who have a difficult time getting along. And those who are being victimized often have a difficult time standing up and just saying, you know what, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Sure. I don't like that. What we need is what's called social proof. In the world of social media, Instagram is currently the big daddy rocker, the third fastest growing social media platform with over 200 million users. The age range for 110 million of those is between 18 and 49. So it's already your target audience or will be in just a few short years. Instagram, as my son says, Facebook is dead, is a great fit for realtors as it allows you to utilize visual marketing and here are my top three must-dos for posting on Instagram. First, do use pictures you've taken and videos you've recorded. Never use stock photos. Second, create rough mini scripts for short listing videos so you know exactly what you want to say about your listings before you hit record. You only have about three to 15 seconds to catch people's attention with a video, and they might never come, ever come back, so it's vital to make the most of every one of them. Third, have clients share their positive home buying experiences with you in testimonial videos. 
15 seconds is a perfect amount of time to show off your happy clients and their new home. So proper planning will help you optimize their message in your video. Next we have a new listing in Eldorado Hills by Karen Catania with Lion Realty in Cameron Park. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Karen Catania. And I'm Paul Catania with Line Real Estate in Cameron Park, California. This is our listing at 5305 Garlenda Drive in El Dorado Hills. This is a four-bed, three-bath, spacious 3,200-square-foot home in the desired gated Serrano community. Designed with entertaining in mind, it includes a great room with a chef's kitchen, granite counters, and an island. It has stylish touches throughout, including plantation shutters and designer paint colors. Give us a call today to see this home. Again, I'm Karen Catania. And I'm Paul Catania with Lion Real Estate in Cameron Park. Awesome home. Give Karen a call if you have a client who would love those large bedrooms. Great job, Karen. This week's question for hashtag Ask Mortgage Broker is what can I do to avoid slowing down the loan process? Or said another way, how can I make it go faster? We always want to be faster. First, thank you for asking that question. We as a loan team are always looking to make the process faster and less cumbersome. Due to all the federal oversight, auditing, compliance, things that we must meet, it's always helpful when our clients partner with us for their success. While every loan and scenario has different rules, there are some basic things that you can do to speed up the entire process. One, fully complete all the required documents and sign the disclosures as quickly as you can. Two. Be readily available to answer any questions. Don't underestimate when we're asking, we're putting together letters of explanation to explain your scenario. Number three, get requested documents back to us and sign as quickly as possible, much like one. Number four, do not switch jobs, change careers, make any major moves unless you contact us during the loan process. Number five, don't take on any new debts. They can totally swing the deal. One of the worst things that you could do is show up to your signing with a new Hummer. Number six, make sure there's a clear paper trail for all funds and bank accounts. Never pull out and put it into cash to put it in another account. It breaks the chain. Number seven, don't go on vacation because we need you. Number eight, lastly, if there's ever a problem, don't panic. We're pretty good at driving the bus. We're not going to crash it. Good lenders are in the business of solving problems. We'll help you get through it. Once we give you a pre-approval, think of the old game, Simon Says, freeze. While this may sound controlling, it doesn't mean to be. We're working really hard for your success. If you need to make moves, please call. We'll advise you and help you out in the process. Well, that's another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for your feedback. Keep the comments coming. Again, I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here in the Real Estate Insider Weekly, and we're here to help you grow. Have a great week.